Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. We're finally ready to turn the robot on. In the previous video, we went through and made sure that everything's safe to plug in. We have no short circuits, your switch is in, your wheel's off the ground. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it so you can make sure that you turn your robot on safely for the first time. Just one thing left to do, and that's turn your robot on. So go ahead and take that switch out. All right, we have lights. Awesome. So you'll notice that your speed controllers have flashing red lights. That means that it's not, the receiver's not sending any signal. And that's perfectly expected because the transmitter's not on. So go ahead and grab your transmitter. Now your transmitter doesn't come with the batteries installed, but they are in your kit, so go ahead and put your eight AA batteries on. It's, it's quite a bit of batteries. You'll see that the back of your transmitter shows you uh, the orientation. All right, perfect. So you have your batteries on your transmitter, so go ahead and turn it on, and we'll make sure that the light turns on. Perfect. You'll see this bright green light right in the middle there shows you that you have power to your transmitter. Um, so you can leave that on. Now go ahead and turn your robot on. Perfect. You notice how those lights are solid now? That means that your robot is communicating with the transmitter. So go ahead and hit the stick forward. Let's see if it moves. All right. That's looking good. Both wheels are going the same direction. So now let's make sure that it's driving in the correct direction, right? So when you go forward on the stick, your robot should drive forward. So you can see the wheels are moving this way. That looks good. Now go ahead and go backwards. It's going this way. Perfect. And now let's try right and left. So they're going opposite ways. That's turning right. Yeah. Perfect. And let's try left. All right. It looks like we did everything correctly and the robot's driving great. If you're testing your robot and it doesn't work quite right, don't worry. The next video is going to show you how to troubleshoot it to see what went wrong and how to fix it. Um, so the next step is going to be to um, basically zip tie and clean up all your wiring. So we call this spaghetti wiring where all the wires are kind of all over the place. So you have to jam them in your robot. Uh, you'll notice that your kit brings some zip ties. You already got one in your hand. Um, if you haven't used zip ties before, they're a really, really cool tool. They're used a lot in battle bots of all shapes and sizes, including Witch Doctor. Um, and it's basically uh, it's just a way to hold down uh, wiring or small things like that. So it's just like she's doing, you're going to want to bundle up your wires. Make sure you have a place for them that it's going to fit after you zip tie it. And you'll notice that it's called a zip tie because when you put it through itself, it makes that satisfying clicking sound. So now that all your uh, wires are zip-tied in place, it's looking good. We can go ahead and put your top plate on and do your first test drive on the floor. 